Good afternoon and welcome to the Midday Mole for Wednesday the 22nd of July. Continuing to read through Mark's Gospel in Mark chapter 4, he records a number of the parables that Jesus told. And I struck by uh, the parable of the mustard seed, verse 30. Again, Jesus said, What shall we say the kingdom of God is like? What parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on earth. Yet, when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants, with such big branches that the birds can perch in its shade. Now, I've heard some people uh, comment and say, oh, because it says it's the smallest seed, it's not, therefore I can't trust the Bible. And I'm really <laughs> sort of taken aback by that and, and turn and say to people, what? Seriously? Because Jesus uses hyperbole when telling a story, you want to disbelieve scripture? And we need to remember that we read scripture within its context, within the genre, and we understand it as, as a literature um, that contains the truth of God. And so we will read a parable differently to when Mark narrates the crucifixion. They're different kinds of literature. And the Gospels are different to Paul's letters. And Paul's letters are different to the Psalms, which are different to the history books. And we read each part of Scripture um, as the genre that it is. And we understand it within that context. And so when Jesus uses this hyperbolic illustration he's saying the kingdom of God might appear to be tiny so small that it can be insignificant and overlooked yet when it grows when God works with it it will become huge and you saw that with the church started off with 120 people and they're now billions of people it started off in one tiny little backwater city in the uh, forgotten corner of the Roman Empire and now is around the whole world um, that is exactly how it grows. And we need to remember that um, when we're feeling discouraged or disappointed or in some way uh, have a sense that things are not going as well as we would like them to. God says, don't worry if things appear small. Because like mustard seeds, it appears small. But when God gets involved, it will grow and be big and fruitful and achieve God's purposes. So in your own life, wherever you are, um, remember that. God doesn't look at things the way the world does. And we need to learn to look at things the way God does. Because that's always the best way to see things. So uh, be encouraged and be blessed.